Nichiren was born April 6, 1222, in Kominato, Awa Province, in what is now Chiba Prefecture. His parents named him Zenichimaro, which is variously translated as Splendid Son or Virtuous Son Boy. Tanjoji is the temple dedicated to the birthplace of Nichiren, though his actual birthplace is likely submerged off the coast. Nichiren began his formal education at a nearby temple named Seichoji, which at the time was a Tendai temple, though now it is a Nichiren Shu temple. Seichoji Temple is where priests in Nichiren Shu take docho, which is the formal beginning of novice training. Tokudo, a service prior to docho, is an informal beginning where one shaves one's head and renounces family and possessions. Sejoji Temple is where, later in Nichiren's life, he proclaimed the superiority and primacy of the Lotus Sutra on April 28, 1253. While a boy studying at Sejoji, he studied under his teacher Dozenbo, and even though Dozenbo never renounced his faith and followed Nichiren, he did support Nichiren, and Nichiren always felt he owed a debt of gratitude to Dozenbo. And in fact, one of his writings on gratitude was dedicated to Dozenbo. At the age of 16, Nichiren formally was ordained and took the name Zenshobo Rensho, which means lotus growth. Shortly after this, he departed from Seichoji and traveled to Kamakura to study and then to Kyoto to further deepen his study of the Buddha Sutras. It was after several years that he became convinced of the supreme importance of placing the Lotus Sutra above all the other teachings of the Buddha. He then returned to Seichoji, where he proclaimed the importance of Namu Myoho Renge Kyo from Mount Kiyosumi on April 28, 1253, and took the name Nichiren, or Sun Lotus. It should be pointed out that while some Nichiren groups say that Nichiren invented or was the first person to chant the Odaimoku. That is actually incorrect. The Odaimoku had been chanted for many years previously. However, it was primarily done as a deathbed ritual. What Nichiren did was to declare that chanting the Odaimoku should be a primary practice as the most efficient way to practice the Lotus Sutra, which he believed was the most important and appropriate teaching for the age in which we live. Nichiren wrote hundreds of formal treatises and letters to followers. Of this large volume of writing, five are considered most important and are referred to as the five major writings. Of this five, the Risho Ankokuron is considered the defining writing which makes clear the reason Nichiren felt was his primary mission. The Risho on Kokuron was written by Nichiren to try to answer the question of why over half the population of Japan within a three-year period had been killed by either famine, earthquake, disease, or war. This was a terribly tumultuous time, and Nichiren sought to uncover why a country whose very foundation was rooted in Buddhism would suffer so much. For several years, he traveled throughout Japan to all the major Buddhist libraries and studied at length to uncover the solution, which he presented in this pivotal writing. In the Risho and Kokoron, Nichiren proclaimed that because the people of Japan had turned their backs on the Lotus Sutra, all the Buddhist protective deities had abandoned the country. He admonished the government to stop supporting denominations that did not follow the Lotus Sutra, thus incurring the wrath of the major Buddhist temples of his time. When Nichiren presented this writing to the government, it set off a series of lifelong persecutions. First, his residence in Kamakura at Matsubagayatsu was burned. Then he was exiled to Izu Peninsula, which we commemorate when we do the irregular beat during the difficulty of retaining the sutra, or hotoge. He was ambushed on his way to meet one of his followers at Komatsubara, where some of his followers were actually killed. Ironically, or karmically, the person who instigated the attack died of blood poisoning from an injury suffered during the attack. Later, 
He was arrested and taken to the execution beach at Tatsunokuchi, where an attempt was made to behead him. There are many versions about why the execution failed. Some attribute it to a bright object appearing in the sky, causing the executioner to flee. Other versions say the executioner's sword broke. The most likely reason, however, is that a letter arrived saying that the government authorities did not want him to become a martyr and so had him exiled. His second exile was to Sato Island off the northwest part of Japan. During the time of Nichiren, this was an incredibly cold and inhospitable place, one he was not expected to survive. When he first arrived on Sato, he took up residence in an abandoned and broken down shack in a graveyard. He was subject to hostile actions by the residents of Sato, though he did make a remarkable convert. Abutsubo, an ardent Pure Land believer, was so impressed with Nichiren's teachings and humble demeanor that he and his wife took faith in the Lotus Sutra and became lifelong believers. Even after Nichiren was pardoned, Abutsubo, even in his 80s, made three pilgrimages to Mount Minobu to pay his respects to his teacher Nichiren. The white pilgrim coats with the Odaimoku written on the back are representations of the coat Abutsubo wore on those journeys. Finally, Nichiren was pardoned from Sado, and upon rejecting an offer by the government to buy and provide him a nice, secure temple, he retired to Mount Minobu. His belief was in the fact was was in the fact that the government was only making the offer to try to buy his silence. He would have preferred the government to not fund any temple and basically get out of the business of state supported religions. Nichiren retired to Mount Minobu, where he spent the last remaining years of his life teaching his disciples and ensuring that faith in the Lotus Sutra would continue after his death. Early in October of 1282, Nichiren became seriously ill, though this was not the first time. It was thought that perhaps a trip to the springs at Ikigami and the residence of the famous Ikigami brothers, ardent supporters of Nichiren, would be healing for him. He passed away on October 13th at Ikigami. He was cremated there, and his ashes were taken to Mount Minobu, his wish for his final resting place. I hope you are enjoying this short video tour in History of Nichiren Shonen. The photos which you are seeing were taken during a very large pilgrimage made by a group of Americans in 2006. The photos are from various important historical temples of Nichiren Shu. There are a couple of interesting facts I would like to point out to you. In Nichiren Shu, there are actually two head temples. The ceremonial head temple is located on Mount Minobu and is called Kuanji. The other is the administrative head temple and is called Homonji. There is a small temple that is located behind the head temple Kuanji that is maintained only by nuns. 
Inside this temple, there is a very large, perhaps 20 or 30 feet high, gold leaf statue of Shakyamuni Buddha. I find this very interesting. I was very impressed with the uh, condition of the temple and the fact that this temple was administered ad by only women. Inside this statue are relics of the Buddha, which had been previously uh, kept a secret by the nuns there. And uh, the nuns have decided that uh, they would like to donate a portion of the relics to be placed in the new five-story pagoda recently completed in front of Kuanji. There's some more photos of the pagoda at the end of the video. There's a very steep mountain behind Kuanji called Shishinkaku. It is purported that Nichiren climbed this very steep trail every day while he lived at Mount Minobu. I'm not sure of the route he took. I do know that the route used now is very difficult to climb. You will see various places along the route where pilgrimage temples are located. When people go to Mount Minobu and wish to stay there, there are many bows or retreat temples which are available for a reasonable price. The bow most frequently used by many Americans is Hinosawa bow. Every morning before 5 a.m. while in Shingyo Dojo, we would march up to the head temple, up a very steep road, all the while chanting the Odaimoku and beating drums. At 5 a.m. we would perform the morning service, which the people from the village of Minobu and overnight pilgrims, pilgrims attend. From there, we then marched over to another small hill where the grave for Nichiren is and a short service is performed there before heading back to the Shingyo Dojo. You will see photos from the graduation ceremony, ceremony of my Shingyo Dojo class. The ceremony is held in the Soshido or image hall where a larger than life-size statue of Nichiren is enshrined. Speaking of Soshido or image halls, the image hall is a standard architectural building found in many temple complexes of more than one building. This is not a special veneration of only Nichiren. All Buddhist denominations do it. I once heard a lecturer accuse Nichiren Shu of worshipping Nichiren because there was a big statue of him. Had the lecturer been more vigorous in their research, they would have learned that the image hall is neither the most important hall nor is it unique to Nichiren Buddhism. So now you know. I hope that you've enjoyed my little attempt at sharing some of the history of Nichiren, as well as a little travelogue through some Nichiren shoes. Thank you very much. With Gasho, Namu Myo Renge Kyo. Thank you.